Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. I have been uh, running all the way through Broom Tower one more time, looking for this last smelter wedge. And when I got up here, big glowing suit of armor. So I'm guessing this is a result of having uh, killed the, the Fume Knight. So something's going on here. I should probably tag this bonfire again. I'm also using the large, large club. I think it's the large club. Yep. I'm a pure strength build right now. So what is this about? Looks like a new zone. Oh, 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 memory of the old Iron King. These are the same, the same summons. So we're going to have a boss fight here. Alon Knight. Former Alon Knight. That is a fire salamander. <laughs> he just gave me a look. <laughs> what did you do that for? Oh, this is my last... Uh... Apparently I'm out of lightning arrows. I need to make another trip to... Where did I pick up lightning arrows? I think that might have been Vengarl's head. That's where I got those. There are a whole bunch of salamanders here. Bonk. <laughs> Did you see the damage on this club? When I say I'm a pure strength build, by the way, I mean I am a pure strength build. <laughs> 99 strength, that's as high as it goes. Wanted to parry you. Oh, there's a salamander behind there, isn't there? There we go. Oh, that's right, I'm on a timer here, aren't I? Guess it's a memory. He 
ability to one-shot enemies is just so, so useful. So far, I'm really liking this club. Uh, where did I just fall? I fell into a hole. better. I've been, been too long without parrying. My timing is just all off now. Although I did have a whole lot of fun running through the, uh, the dragon shrine with this build because you can two-shot the Drake Keepers. <laughs> and that's pretty great. Oh, the treasure fell through the floor, I think. Or maybe that was down there already. Yeah, just my timing is way off. Backstab works just as well. Ooh, that's a hole. Okay, there's a salamander here somewhere. down downstairs so there is a hole I could drop down there to get to another level this looks like progress so let's try this hole oh in fact there's stairs right here even better Whoa, I did not see you. <laughs> oh, come on. where I came out. That's a loop. Treasure up there. Twin blade plus seven. like a secret door. Okay, nothing there. OK, 
Okay, looks like it's time to go make some progress. I wonder how close I am to my timer. Hearing like rattling metal, which makes me think this is a bonfire, uh, not a bonfire, a uh, boss fight. So let me buff up my weapon. You can see I also bought like a whole stack of these things. Dark, dark pine resin. Sir Allen, and he's mad at me. Miss. Miss again. And again. <laughs> and dead. <laughs> I did literally zero damage to him. <laughs> he is a quick one. I should have looked around the arena a little bit more. So the Alon Knights were were like employed by the old Iron King, I believe. So I guess Sir Alon, it would make sense that he would be somebody in the memory of the old Iron King. And the Alon Knights are still there. Even though the old Iron King has become all demon demon uh, embodied when we go there in the base game. Okay, so we want to find the fastest way to that boss fight. So far, so good. That's right, drop down this hole. Last fight was all just on the other side of this, right? I think so. Oh, tagged. Let's see if I run all the way to the end here, will they give up on me? Oh, that's nice. Looks like they do. So I've got time to... Oh, no, here he comes. Oh, God. I've, I've made a miscalculation. <laughs> that helps. Alright. So let's dark buff. healing potion. This time I want to take in the arena, so I know where we're fighting. It's a room with, like, two pillars. Oh boy, I didn't... Okay, I did. I can't do damage. That first swing didn't do anything there. Alright, so that move where he does the thrust seems like a good this one seems like a good time to get some damage. Oh boy. That's probably death. Uh bleeding, I think. Dead. Okay. 
So he's got a pursuer-like kind of elemental stab, and he's got a moonlight greatsword-like uh, kind of long-range magic, uh, like projectile. But more importantly, we figured out that we can basically run past all the enemies to get to him. So far, so good. Nope. That was incorrect. Should not take that rap. Alright, I'm just gonna have to heal in the arena. Since it seemed like my I roll too early. Oh god. I just got off to a bad start there. It'd be better if I didn't take damage on the way there, because then when I go through the door, I can buff my weapon instead of healing with the time I have at the beginning of the fight. That would be a much better plan, so don't jump that gap in that room with the great floor. Smack, and double smack. Drop through the hole. Heal here. Wanna be on Okay. Even better. Buff before I go in. Oh, way too early. Come on. And not my healing potion. Ugh. <sighs> Come on. Oh, that's a quick one. Oh, damn it! That's alright, since I can't seem to hit him right out of the gate anyway. Oh, so early! What am I doing? Why am I starting that roll so early? Okay. Nope. That's alright, we're in the mood. 
Thanks. Whew. So sometimes he doesn't backstep out of that. It's, oh god, that one thing I keep going way too early on. Oh, wow, I got horrible lag there for a second. Probably should top off. And dead. Oh my god. That one thing where he like... He hesitates before he attacks and it makes me roll every time. I think if I can fix that, I can win that fight. If I stop getting baited into that roll. Ah, first time I dodged that. I knew that was coming too, I just didn't roll in time. You're not gonna hit me, so I have time to heal. Learning these moves. I'm getting them. That's a new one. Whiff. And another whiff. No stamina. Okay. We've got this. That was a little early. I got lucky on that one. Oh, and that was late.
This is a fun fight. <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, damn it. Oh God, no! It's all right. Just gotta get a healing in now. Uh oh, he's fiery now. Damn it! There it goes. Shields on back. I'm on my healing potions. Why is he in fire mode already? Does that seem bad? Oh, it's because he... Right, I got it. He goes into fire mode when he gets me with that stab move. So I just have to not get hit by the stab move and then I think I'm fine. Durr. Okay. Might as well. Oh, I thought that was a stab. Oh, that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. Why not to the middle of the room? Oh, God! Okay, I'm gonna try something. Didn't work. <laughs> I tried pairing. Here we go. That is just not a good start.
Okay. Way early, again. <laughs> I got a double hit in there. So I staggered him. I kind of wish I hadn't done that. Oh. I almost screwed it up at the end, guys. Almost. I went for the double hit. To finish him off. Almost made me pay. Let's take a look at that glorious soul. be one of these. Soul of Sir Elon. Soul of Sir Elon, who once served the old Iron King. Sir Elon came from an eastern land, and became the king's most trusted knight. Use the wondrous soul of this knight to acquire numerous souls, or to create something of great worth. I have to see what, uh, what, like, weapons or spells I can get for these. Well, I have no healing. Well, I have lots of healing, but... Oh! That was kind of unexpected. Oh, I didn't look for secret doors in there. I was not expecting you to get a smelter wedge out of that. Okay, well, I'm going to continue with my exploration of this tower anyway. And I'm going to go smelter wedge that last idol. Actually, let me go do the idol first. You've been wedged. Nathalia is no more. True soul of Nathalia acquired. Soul of Nathalia, bride of ash, who renounced her flesh and wandered Broom Tower. In the act of dancing, the bride of ash was transfigured as smoke, enticing people to her residence. And so her seat of power came to be known as the Broom Tower. So the dark fog that other items refer to is just another form of the Bride of Ash. And it lures people to the tower. Probably for souls. It's always for souls. Do you have anything for them? 
outcry. A pyromancy of Nadalia, bride of ash, spouts multiple dark flames. This child of dark, bearing inconceivable strength, found herself in a kingless land devoid of souls, and in journeying there has all but condemned herself to a fate most wretched. Okay, so that makes it sound like, uh, well, we know the king. The king was killed by the smelter demon. And then the castle fell into the lava and he became the demon that we fight called the old iron king. So this sounds like the, the death to the smelter demon must have happened before Nadalia showed up. Because the king was gone, there were no souls to be had, and so she turned herself, she broke her own, like, dark soul apart into the ashen idols, and became a dark fog and beckoned people to her, to the kingdom, to probably eat their souls. Since this specifically says devoid of souls, it makes it sound like she needed them. Although she had inconceivable strength. Hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Ornifax. See if there. Oop. See if there's anything there. Yeah, alluring skulls. I've tried alluring skulls on so many different enemies, and they're never useful on the ones I need them to be. Goodbye, door. <laughs> they always ruin this door every time. Hello there. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, since it costs money, I think, to do this. Chime of Screams. A sacred chime forged from the soul of Nadalia, Bride of Ash. Nothing appears sacred about the frightful design of this chime, but it does have the benefit of raising one's faith. The oozing frozen iron forming the bell seems to anticipate a scream. Katana forged from the soul of Sir Alone. The captivating, undulating design serves to enhance this weapon's mystical allure. Alone came from the east and soon became the Iron King's most trusted knight. When he departed, the old Iron King bequeathed Sir Alone's name to his iron warriors. Ultra Greatsword forged from the soul of the Fume Knight. The exile swordsman, Raimi, had the ability to expunge the Black Fog, but chose instead to live alongside it, in the company of the Child of Dark that haunts his sword. Oh. Child of Dark, who would be, uh, Nadalia, haunts his sword. Well, I would buy these if I had souls, but I just used all my souls stupidly to buy arrows. Come back again if you... I assume I don't have any to use. So, I will come back later and buy all those things. <laughs> 